Hi everyone, it's me Jamshed Raza from ProfessionalTutorial.com and today our video is about logo designing. I have worked for the client which, is, which, which was for the watch company and working on that project was very fun and I enjoyed a lot. That company was for Pidian Choice watch company and I have created their logo. Now let's see how, how I have designed that logo and let's get it started. Here is the logo and I am going to tell you the concept behind that logo. It is the logo of a company which has been created for the for the watch company and you can see that it shows like a clock and there is the handle of the co that clock but if you consider that one it is b which is the initial of that billion and that is c which is the initial of the s choice and these all combination is uh we can also say that it is a clock and the initial is also used and the client like that very much and here we uh, how we are going to just change each and everything and make from scratch and i will let that uh, example to be here and i am going to just duplicate my that layout and for that one we are going to hold down alt key and just bring it to the side and now I will delete everything from here and we are going to make from the scratch that logo and uh, I was just uh, thinking about that logo that how I have to make and after research and making some sort of sketching to the different part of that logo I come to this point that we are going to make something like this one and I have made different variation for that logo and if I am going to show you for this one and it it, it is one of the best and most amazing uh, logo which I have worked for the company and you can see that the example are here I have also I have also made that one and you can see that is like uh, like it is very good font and it is type font logo and I just showed that in different way in mockup and this is one sort of that type and there are so many examples of that one now for now we are going to just uh, select our rounded uh, rectangular uh, ellipse tool and we just hold down alt and we will press alt and shift and we will make a circle and here is our circle and now I am going to make second circle of that size nearly that size or we can just hold down and drag that same circle to the right and I will just change it to the white and we will bring it here like this one and we will just adjust a little bit the size of that circle or rectangular uh, ellipse and here you can see that okay I have my smart uh, I have that grid which is magnetic grid is just turned on therefore I'm going to turn off that one for now because it is snapping and I'm also going to see that smart guide and uh, snap to the point is also turned off and now it is a little bit fine for me and I'm going to just making that size and coming to approximately that size which I need and I am adjusting that with arrow key and now I again bring that like here or maybe some smaller like this one and make that a little bit zoom in and we are going to just uh, adjust the size yes that is the size and I'm moving that with arrow tool and you can see now we have exactly made something like this one now for that one you come to the window and you have pathfinder and in pathfinder 
I will just show you where is my pathfinder just let me bring my property here and we will select that both one and here is the pathfinder and we are just going to click the second one which minus the front now it is one object completely one object let me just select and you can see every point here and that is how we are going to cut this one now again we are going to select one and you can see that it is the center of that circle when I'm going to just press uh, hold down sh uh, alt and shift we can make that circle and I'm going to adjust with that one and now we are just going to decrease the size of that one and like if let me just check if the width and height is completely fine yes they are 262.08 yes it is completely fine and now we are going to adjust a little bit and again I am going to just uh, mm, hold down my alt and press the down key and now it has made one new duplicate and uh, I, I have just control Z that position and it comes here and again I'm going to just click white color and you can see a little bit darker is here I will just again press up button and it will cover each and everything and now I can adjust the size as much as I need now you can check that one yeah that is the size I have just got that one now we make that that empty sign for B and C to separate for that one we are going to zoom in here and we select rectangle tool and we come here like this one and because that should be exactly the same and I'm going to bring that to the center and you can see now the center is here yeah then I will bring that here and now you can check it is not completely in center but it is it should be in center for that one I will select that one and this one and minus the front one now I have that one and I'm going to just make that to the center and now minus the front one now it is two separate circle as you can see okay and center this one as well horizontal and vertical from vertical it is coming down but I don't like that to be in down therefore we are going to adjust like this one now next I have just rotated that one rotate that one with that angle and like this one and I have made one anchor like here and exactly here and we can bring that here and just close that one and that is how we have done that one and you can see there is some sort of mistake therefore we are going to adjust that one with the top anchor tool and it should be like this one now it is completely fine and uh, I am going to merge that one as well and for that one select this one and I'm selecting with my direct selection tool and this one too and just merge everything here and create one compound and now it is one compound okay and the last one which we are going to add that is just the middle of that one and we are going to select this one and I'm going to come here and we are going to just make this one okay uh, how to know that it is in the center of that that compound or that one if I'm going to mm, if I'm going to select or make that to the center and uh, let me just increase the size a little bit and select that one okay let me just make these two one compound as well now going to select that to one and 
I'm going to horizontal that one it will come here because now it is counting that one to be circle therefore it is a little bit difficult for us to make that to be in circle therefore we are going to make from the center of these and we check that yes now see it is completely in center now therefore we are going to say that yeah that is cor correctly or that is exactly fine now that is how you are going to make and we are just going to the symbol and we are just going to bring the font from here to here and we adjust the size a little bit as well and now the logo is completely created and designed i hope you like that video and uh, i know that i have not selected that found if you need that found just uh, write that in comment box then i will write the name of that found and that is how you are going to make hmm, your beautiful logo for any company and that was one of the amazing video and uh, i when i was working for the client in real time and i also earned a, a reasonable amount for that graphic design it was one of the fun project for me and one of the creativity as well i hope you have got some basic point that how we are going to make some basic symbol with meaningful and purposeful uh, logo here and if you like to know about the mockup as well just write that in the comment box i will be back right with you if you like that video please thumbs up that video and don't forget to share with your friends that they also like their tricks and don't forget to subscribe my video if you like to know all about graphic designing and more about online earning as well see you next time it's me jamshed raza goodbye